What's up everyone, it's the one Jamin. Today we are playing at Simic Merfolk. Boy, did this new set, Lost Caverns of Ixalan, get some really, really good Merfolk. I'm gonna to talk to you about all of them. We have C-Note Scout, one mana, one one, it explores. Now it, it seems kind of innocuous, but you'll see later. Seeker of Sunlight, one mana, one one, it's way worse. It explores for three mana only as a sorcery, but we're playing it because we're playing uh, let's see. Deep Root Pilgrimage. Two mana enchantment. When one or more non-token merfolk you become you control become tapped, make a 1-1 one, one blue merfolk creature token with hexproof. So you really, really want a one mana creature because we're playing this on turn two. Tap it, make a 1-1, one, one, keep going. Twist and Turns, which this has a sub-theme of, of um, exploring. If a creature you control would explore, instead you scry one, then it explores. When this ETBs, a creature you control explores. And then when a land ETBs under your control, if you control seven or more lands, transform this into Mycoid Maze. It becomes a land that adds green, and then you can pay three and a green and tap it to look at the top four cards of your library, reveal a creature from among them, and put it into your hand. Put the rest in the bottom in a random order. So um, I think this card is really good in this deck. Jade Light Spelunker, which is usually going to be a two or three drop because it explores X times, but we can, if we really, really need to, play it as a one mana one one that doesn't explore, which I like. Subterranean Schooner is a one and a blue for a 3-4 vehicle. Whenever this attacks, target creature that crewed it explores. So this is a good way to continually keep our creatures exploring. We have a new card here, um, Nicanzel, Current Conductor. Two mana, two, three, legendary. When this explores a land, you may put a land from your hand on the battlefield tapped, which is absolutely absurd. Whenever a creature you control explores a non-land, put a 1-1 counter on Nicanzel. That's really cool, so it gets, it gets a counter for other things exploring. Well, Darren the Hestcatcher, which came out in Dominaria United, but super good. It's a Merfolk Wizard with Flash. Other Merfolk get plus one, plus one. You can sack a Merfolk to target a non-creature spell, unless a uh, counter a non-creature spell, unless the controller pays one. We have um, Ozolith, the Shattered Spire, so that whenever our, our creatures explore a non-land card, it gets an additional counter. We also have Agatha Soul Cauldron to put counters on our things. And also, it makes every creature uh, have Voldarian Hexcatcher's ability, which is also really strong. It can also have all of our creatures get the ability of uh, Seeker of Sunlight, which won't come up as often, but it still can do that. We also have Tishana's Tidebinder, 3 mana, 3, 2, Flash. When this ETBs counter a target activated or triggered ability, if an ability of an artifact creature or planeswalker is countered that way, that permanent loses all abilities for as long as this remains on the battlefield. So super strong card. Also, Sentinel of the Nameless City, 3 mana, 3, 4, really good stats with Vigilance. Whenever this enters the battlefield or attacks, make a map token, and the map tokens let you explore. So, you see the theme here. Roaming Throne is a 3-drop. It's a 4 mana, 4, 4, Golem with Ward 2. And when this ETBs, you can choose a creature type. So, we're going to be calling Merfolk, obviously. This becomes a Merfolk. And then if a triggered ability of another creature you control of the chosen type triggers, so a Merfolk, it triggers an additional time. So we have an additional trigger of Tidebinder, additional Sentinel, additional um, additional Nickenzil trigger as well. Um, we get the, whenever it explores, it get, this gets to trigger twice, put two counters on itself. We also can double trigger the Jade Light Spelunker. So there's a lot, and also double trigger C Note Scout and Seeker of Sunlight. So there's a, almost everything in this deck gets double triggered from Roaming Throne, which is pretty cool. We also have two Restless Vinestock in the mana, mana base, Odawara Beseju. Four copies of Cavern of Souls, new card from Lost Caverns of Ixalan, four secluded courtyard. And as you know, if you've watched if you've watched um, uh, my videos a lot, you know that I hate this card, Thren Portal. But I think playing more tap lands is worse than just playing untap lands, even if you have to take damage for it, especially in a aggro on curve deck like this. Anyway, the deck list is in the description if you want to copy it for yourself and play along with me. Let's go ahead and get into the matches. It all starts right now. All right, we're going to keep this. I don't know whether I want to... I think I'm going to place Belunker as a one-drop. I'm not going Thran Portal yet, because I don't know if I'm going to draw either Twisting Turns or the vehicle yet. What is this card? Discard a card, put a counter on an attacking creature, gets trample. We're gonna go Nickenzil or we're gonna go Hexcatcher? I guess we're gonna go Hexcatcher if they block.
Ah. Nice. And we'll go Nick and Zolt, they don't block. Hey, you're welcome, Golden God. They discarded a big dragon. Oh, and then it, and then it gets this ability. It's all the top card. And then you can play it. Pretty good card. Oh no, it's a calendar deck. This is the calendar meta. Treasure token. It's buff now. Not sure how the Millennium Calendar works in their game plan, but it will be something on my mind. God, I miss Jade Light Ranger. I mean, this is Jade Light Ranger. Thundering Raiju. Hopefully I don't die. I can't kill anything. What do I want? Can we... We can't kill them. We can Spelunk four times. We can Spelunk eight to... Nine times if we Rumming Throne first. I think we should Spelunk. Scout, don't want it. Sunlight, don't want it. Seiju, I like it. I would like a Cavern of Souls on the battlefield. I would like a Yavamaya Coast on the battlefield. They could be playing all will be one for the counter shenanigans on on the calendar. Brass is tunnel grinder. They discard draw two. Do I care about this card? I don't think I do. Discarding a, the Shivan Devastator. If you get to untap with Nicanzel, it's like so good. Can they can they attack? This does trigger off any discard. Whenever you discard one or more cards, not one or more cards with this ability. Another throne. Okay, so we can besage you the scrapwork mud. Checking if that was an artifact creature. Did they just good game me? 
I should probably just cast Roaming Throne. Pulling Merfolk. Unfortunately, I can't explore. We should probably just attack with the Spelunker. But then they just chump block with the Mutt. I wish I had something that would, uh, would explore, but I don't. When this gets three, you can discover where X is a mana value. Oh, it's when any creature attacks. Oh, wow, this card is really strong. They can unearth it now. And then trigger the the uh, empty again. Wow. They're discarding really good cards from that. Yeah, I'm just going to say that's good. Legendary. Discard draw two and exile a card. What's the most broken counter combo so far? I haven't seen any really good ones. Yet. Keyword yet. Not seeing many things I can do. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus five. Fourteen. Seventeen. Problem is, if I give them more time, I'm just for sure gonna lose. Five, nine plus five is 14, so they have to block with one thing. They're gonna double block? I should kill this NT. Place Sokinzan. There it is. Okay, this says when when you put one or more counters, it deals that much damage to an opponent. Oh, it's trying to kill me. It's okay, I have a besager. I could have countered it with the hex catcher, but it didn't matter because I had to save you. Pilgrimage, just just right on time.
Nice. Worth noting that I didn't need beside you there. I could have just countered it, but we did the cool thing. That is a restless prairie. Botanical brawler. Troll cauldron. I don't want to attack into this brawler. But if I attack, I can flash in Hexcatcher. Nice. Belunking. All right, there's the scout. I think I'm gonna go Soul Cauldron. Just so I can attack here. so that next turn we can Pilgrimage and still attack. Unless they cast a big creature. That's a big creature. Whenever this attacks for each creature, you control a power greater than the creature's base power. Put a number of counters on the creature equal to the difference. Okay. This has Ward 2? Wow. I'm gonna explore twice, see if I can get a land. Another hex catcher is really good. I'm gonna keep that on top. He is just too good. Five mana? The big ol' Spelunker. I really hope they don't... Uh, it's gonna be... Oh, this seems to be humongous. At least I get to... At least I get to block it. Maybe this doesn't attack. Not attack. Alright. What is this? Dranith Ruins. Put two counters on a non human that ETB'd this turn. I think we C note Scout and then we flash in Hex Cutcher. I needed that land. Now we can either splash, slash in Hexcatcher or use the Tidebinder on the Sovereign. No, we can't, because that's War 2. Just kidding. Ooh, this is good with, with Dranith Ruins. Yeah, you guys are talking about Helping Hand. Like, Helping Hand is good. But, like, I don't really expect creatures to be in my graveyard. Uh, when, like, the sweepers that people are playing are Farewell and... Farewell and freaking... Sunfall. I'm gonna counter the ability of Dusk Legion Duelist to draw a card.
No, it has no abilities. Okay. We can explore whenever we want. Uh, let's see. Can we cast Pilgrimage and attack with anything? We could attack with Spelunker. Because they know about the Hex Catcher we have in hand. So they're just they just might not block this at all. Wow. Sure. Eat it. Just eat it. There's a botanical brawler, yep. Doomscar Warrior. Combat damage, look at many cards from the top, you can reveal a creature or land. I'm not too upset about that. They thought they were going to draw a card, but there's no abilities on that card. Let's exile Spelunker and put a counter on... I think I'm putting a counter on Scout. Another pilgrimage? Wow. Sure. We don't have any creatures in graveyard currently. So we can really only attack with the Spelunker. But we do make two Merfolk. We're going wide as heck, baby. Whoa, they're double blocking with these? Okay. Play the scout. Hex catcher again. Sure. Let's put a counter on... Scout. We have a hex catcher. All right, now we can go all of these and make a freaking royal... Okay, one or more, so it only makes one. Oh, wow. You've fallen into my trap, Yugi. We probably had lethal somewhere. That is a humongous X equals eight Spelunker. Ozolith, similar to our deck. Oh, it has this good, cool card in it. 
It's a power greater than its base power deck. Well, that was really cool. Look at all these 4-4 four, four Hexproof tokens. Oh my into greedy freebooter, that's for sure. How do we grow your viewership back to what it used to be? Oh, if, if I only knew. No, it, I know how. It's streamed more often. Ooh, I love this card. Annihilating Glare. Oh! I didn't have to play this card. Oh, my stuff destroyed. So good. Oh, we drew a good card. Okay. We do this. We do... Uh, no. Yep, that's the card that works the greedy freebooter. Fanatical offering plus this is really strong. See if they have another annihilating glare in hand. It says pay four or second artifact or creature. This is a two mana card that says each opponent sacks a creature. I will sack Jade Light Blocker. I will pass turn. I want to Tidebinder the Stalker so it doesn't get even bigger. Seems like opponents up playing a low to the ground mono black sack. Gives you Cat Oven flashbacks. Well, what's happening right now is not nearly as good as Cat Oven. But it still looks fun. Back in a raid, sure. Oh wait, does this work for enchantments? No, oh, artifact creatures and planeswalkers. Unfortunate. I'm just gonna double block this thing. Cause I'm tired of it, quite frankly. I want to cast Twist in turns, but also I think Tidebinder is really good here. But I, I, Twist in turns might just be the play. Don't think I want that. 
Oh, I want that. Am I growing this more? I think I'm growing it more. This thing can get really big. Problem is, their deck's gonna have a lot of blockers, and it plays cards that make me sack creatures. That I can't stop. Actually, I could stop it with Tidebinder if I didn't play the Twisted Nerns. They have another copy of this. Huh. It does say Artifact on it. Bigger Drinker. Oh, that's a card. Oh, they reprinted this? No, wait, that's just a different art. Exile from your graveyard, the journal, the Saxon draws a card, and then you can transform it into casting creatures back from grave. I hope they don't have an answer for Sentinel. They don't. If I cast Roaming Throne, it triggers twice. Alright, let's cast it. I wish Sentinel had lifelink. Give me a lifelink, Merfolk. Or trample, yeah. Give me a keyword. Oh, it has vigilance. Never mind, it has a keyword. Okay, Soul Rip. I haven't seen that card since Tamagawa Neon Dynasty pre release. Visage of the Dread. Reveal their hand, choose an artifact or creature. Discard one. Okay. I think I might Tidebinder the, the Journal. Or the Soul Ripper. I just need to not die. Cavern of Souls. Scry one from Twist and Turns. Soul Cauldron. Have anything cool in here? Do not want a Soul Cauldron. Do I want an Ozolith? I don't think so. I don't want a Thran Portal. I do want a Hex Catcher. Trigger this twice, make two more maps. This is a really cool engine. Sentinel plus Rumming Throne? Twist in turn says whenever a land ETBs, if you control seven or more lands, transform it. We're two lands away. I think I have to stop the journal. Reveals, choose an artifact. Well, that's unfortunate. 
I wonder if the craft can be at instant speed. Can you craft at instant speed? Nope. Um... Okay, so I have to let this resolve. And then we have to cast this. And target the visage trigger. It does trigger twice. <laughs> Just in case you had a thing that stopped my first trigger. Corpses is a loss. That makes a that makes a haste skeleton. Ooh, you don't have another mana. They have Soul Ripper though. That doesn't kill me. Reckoner Raid, go to seven. We go to nine. I have a we have a hex catcher. Think we win? If we go with if we win this game, by the way, I have a special treat for everybody. Alright, let's map token. I have to accidentally I have to try to accidentally not die here. Map token. Tide binder, twist and turns trigger. Don't want that. Oh, they scooped! Ah, I was trying to do fun, cool stuff. Turn one, see note scout. Oh, give me the schooner. One minute, two, two. Can you believe it? You started watching my YouTube channel when Azorius Flyers was a thing. Oh, that was a long time ago. I appreciate you hanging out here, Golden Luck, Golden God. Uh, I also put up put up videos on Cool Stuff Inc.'s YouTube channel, and this one will be on that channel as well. Jade Light Spelunker. I think... What? They're not going to be casting a non-creature spell next turn, right? Like... They can, they're basically going to cast Topiary Stone for next turn. But I think I want to go this for Merfolk and just put a whole bunch of damage in play right now. We'll go Seeker of Sunlight. We'll go Hexcatcher. Don't want another schooner? Probably not. When this ETB, search a library for a plane's reveal, put it in your hand and shuffle, you gain two life. Sure. We are definitely cooking here. To save you. You can actually use that to kill a Leyline Binding. Do we go Nameless City or Spelunker? I think we can go Nameless City. That explores. We do this. Attack for a bunch. Sentinel explores a land, which is great. We play the land. They're like almost dead already. Let's just explore. Let's explore the schooner, actually. Another land, okay. And then they can't they can't remove our board because we can just sack for Hexcatcher. Wow. What a 
What a bonker series there. Wow. And except for this vine stock is annoying. I wish it wasn't a vine stock. Ooh. Nice, now I don't have to worry about it. Merfolk. Seeker of Sunlight. The Iron Crag. And a four-color deck. You know this test for colorless opponent. Alright. Yavamaya Coast. I think we should pilgrimage here. And hope they don't do something scary. Like play Shield of the Apocalypse. They did not do anything scary. Which is what we like. Can I cure you so you can leave your house? Yeah, no problem. Watch them cast something crazy and then we have Hex Catcher to stop them. Or not. Let's pass. The Millennium Calendar. Maybe you untap one or more permanents during your untap step. Put how many time counters on it? Double the number of time counters on it. When there's a thousand or more time counters, you win. No. Your opponents lose a thousand life. Okay, so that means you win. You're waiting for the Millennium Calendar deck? Same, actually. Dusk Rose Sacrificing Iron Crag. Sure. They need to have to get rid of my Seeker of Sunlight. That's fine. Let's cast... Recasting Hexcatcher? Nah. I'll wait. Tavern on Merfolk. Let's cast the uh, uh, Nakanzel Current Conductor. The reason why I want to wait is because if they have a... You know what? I messed up. I forgot that I couldn't be countered. <laughs> Do they, do they have a, a... Three mana. Oh, I get it, because they're, they're going to use it on the Millennium Calendar. That's four counters. Actually, a thousand is not even that much when you can double it. Twist and turns. We will make this explore. I don't want to land. I don't think I want this scout either. We do have a way to stop this. It's with Tide Tidebinder. I mean, we win the game next turn anyway. Regardless of what we do. So we might as well just pass. Good thing they can't double that twice. Bramble familiar as a creature. Sure.
Pass half Tetra. Pass another one. Are we spelunking? What's spelunk? Wait, can we can we use divine stock? No. I'll take a Beseju, for sure. Hide binder. Give me that. Give me that. Yep. 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 Twist and turns plus Spelunker is pretty darn good. Counter. 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 Put Vine Stock into play. Oh my gosh, that was absurd. That was absolutely crazy. I was trying to have fun, you monster. We have scout on. We have a one drop on one. We'll just hope to draw blue mana next turn. It is not blue mana. Seeker. Restless Reef and Dream Root Cascade. Sultai. Interested to see what this is. Urborg. Urborg Lord. I can never say that card. Urborg. Lurgoy. Well, Agatha's Soul Cauldron is pretty good against this deck. He doesn't block. Oh wow. No, he looked at the Soul Cauldron. No blocks. He caught it last second. He was going to block. This is create X one ones, but they can't block with the times you descended. Okay. Am I Ozla thing? Probably should. No, I probably should just seek her. Got a Thran portal. That's the blue mana we need. Soul Cauldron's just really, really strong against what Swayze is playing. Jace. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jace mills himself. So it descends. We can improve nice. On your ideas. We got something cool in here. No creatures in there. There's a Hex Catcher. These block no. Okay, let's pilgrimage. Attack. Make a thing. And then and then hex catcher. 
Do we have a creature in our graveyard? Did not block with the tyrant. Let's just let that go through. Then they plus the Jace. What does this do? Great funguses. Fungi. Target player mills four. Sure. There's a Lurgoif. Liliana the Veil. Yeah, Swayze is a really cool dude. I think he might just be dead anyway to the Hexcatcher. No three. I will clear your mind. Make 10 tokens? That is a lot. And then I think he's just dead? Like there's there's no there's no non creature spell that can save him. Nice. All right, guys, thank you very much for hanging out. This deck was so so fun. The only thing I think this deck is missing is interaction in the form of something that's not Hexcatcher. Um, Tidebinder is interaction, but it doesn't actually um, take a creature off the board or anything, and it dies to cut down. Um, we never got Tidebinder cut down, but it was just, it didn't feel like it was good enough. Um, there needs to be a little bit more interaction, maybe in the form of the one mana blue card that phases something out and gives a counter, which seems pretty, pretty good in this deck. Twist and Turns, I wanted to see how good this was. It was okay, except for probably not worth it. It's probably better just to be an interactive piece. Soul Cauldron and Ozolith were pretty, pretty nifty too. Maybe these are sideboard cards. Maybe you sideboard a couple of cauldrons because it does help the deck and it does hurt a lot of other decks, especially being Graveyard 8. But I do think you can cut Ozolith, Agatha Soul Cauldron, and Twist and Turns um, for and maybe one Rumming Throne for four copies of the, of the card that I'm talking about that I forgot the name of off the top of my head. <laughs> but um, regardless, I think this deck was really fun. Um, and pretty good. Hex, Hex, uh, Voldalen Hexcatcher has a really nice home. It's always had a home in Merfolk, but there are really good Merfolks now. I was impressed with Nick and Zoe as well. So anyway, deck list is always down in the description below. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, peace.